What's going on, everyone? Badger here. Make sure to like and sub, and let's get into this. So uh, the Madam Web reviews are out, the first ones at least, the ones that were forced to watch this, which I might be, depending on if people actually want reviews of this. And they're not looking good. They're not looking good. We have this here uh, from comicbookmovie.com. The review embargo has lifted for Madam Web, and while it appears the movie is leaps and bounds ahead of Morbius, which is not saying much, the consensus so far is overwhelmingly negative. Uh, like Venom and Morpheus before, it seems Sony Pictures has delivered yet another outdated comic book. Well, I think I'd take an outdated one over a current one the way they're doing it. That being said, let's just go down here. They say they got to watch the Madam Web earlier this month and it wasn't great. And while they argue it's better than Morbius, substantially so, uh, they say Dakota Johnson delivers an uninspired performance and the story is indeed somewhat underwhelming. Uh, how could it not? Final Destination in a Spider-Man universe that's not connected to Spider-Man? Oh, say it's not so. There are glimpses of greatness. The action scenes largely deliver, as do the three Spider-Women. However, despite some hints that this could have been a fresh start for Sony's live-action Spider-Verse, Madam Web just never capitalizes on them. And here we go. Here's a roundup. Madam Web has some good ideas, but poor execution, mimicking the worst aspects of early 2000s comic book movies, dragging down the entire production into something thin and flimsy as a Spider-Web. <laughs> Uh, on the basis of Madam Web, however, Sony Spider-Man's universe is now completely lifeless and in no need of resuscitation. That was the Daily Beast. Here we have from Gizmodo. There aren't any exciting comic book teases to break down. There are teases of teases more than anything else, which I think we all smell that this is just going to be cameo bait that's never going to happen, or satisfying emotional achievements to latch on to. It's a story that only makes sense if you don't think about it, which is what they want. Enjoy content until they release more content. Uh, filled with uh, performances that aren't very engaging, and then it ends. That ending does tease there could be more Madam Web to come, but we'd ve be very, very surprised. Yeah, this is going to lose money, and Dakota Johnson would never come back. She fired her agents because she thought she was getting into the MCU, not the Sony uh, verse. If there's one interesting thing, this is the Hollywood Reporter. If there's one interesting thing in Madam Web, it's how the film navigates the post 9 11 personal security landscape through Ezekiel's villainous uh, planning with his assistant. Madam Web shows how much privacy civilians voluntarily gave up, Patriot Act, or the United States government took all in the name of national security. And it's a rare, satisfying element in a film that otherwise fails to deliver at every turn. Well, kind of based, Hollywood Reporter. Yes. Uh, Madam Webb has the markings of an interesting superhero psychological thriller. It's from IGN. So. But with a script overcrowded with extraneous characters, basic archetypes, and generic dialogue, it fails the talent and the future of its on-screen spider women. Was there really a future, though? Uh, Indie Wire, Johnson is one of the most naturally honest and gifted performers to ever play the lead role in one of these things. Oh, I call bullshit on that. But And while that allows her to elevate certain moments in this movie way beyond where they have any right to be, it also makes it impossible for her to hide in the moments that lay bare. Okay, so we're seeing no one's liking it, right? And we go over here to the Rotten Tomatoes, and it's 23% with 31 verified reviews. Not looking good. Now, we've seen these disconnects before where the critics hate it. Now, normally they show for it. So when they're shitting on it, that should tell you something. Of course, they've all been pretty free lately, especially with Deadpool coming out. All of a sudden, there's all these articles about how Deadpool might save the Marvel Universe. Who said you guys kept saying the Marvel Universe was, was fine? And the, we said that it, that it was dead. You were the, oh, it's just fine. And now all of a sudden you can say it needs saving which means that now they can talk shit on these Sony movies. Not that they really haven't been doing that with, as we see, Morbius. But you see, okay, maybe it got better when people started seeing it. No, it got worse. It got worse. Now, granted, the audience score is still not out. That won't come out for another uh, until actual launch, the 14th. But now we have 47 reviews, and it has dropped to a 19% on the Rotten Tomato uh, meter. And no words on It'll probably just keep going down. And who knows? Yes, uh, men will probably go watch this for the girls because Sydney Sweeney, uh, we'll see. But as far as these reviews go, it's it's looking, let's see, this one last one from the variety. In the end, Madam Web feels like a cross between an extended soda commercial and a teaser trailer for more spinoffs. Whatever the future holds, we'll be ready, Cassie promises. But you don't have to be a soothsayer to see this particular franchise is DOA or a snob to expect better. Oh, and that's the real part at the end. 
Can we start ex expecting better? Can we please start having a little bit higher standards for our entertainment and just stop telling everyone, just enjoy it for what it is. Just enjoying it for what it is is what's got us to the bottom of the barrel shit that we are in right now. Let me know what you think, though. By the way, maybe I'm wrong. I don't think I am, though. Be sure to like, share, sub. If you've done that, thank you. If you're going to do that, thank you. And Well.